What's going on guys, Wingsman here and welcome back to another restaurant tutorial and today guys I'm gonna be showing you how to make this really cool and simple long drop mini game in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. If you guys are excited for that, make sure to drop a like down below and subscribe if you're new and without further ado, let's get right into today's video. This mini game is absolutely amazing to play with your friends because there is a bit of a skill in world that I obviously don't have. Of course this is great for like sport event or something like that. This is a long jump mini game that's actually really simple to make. We can see over here we have this sand pit that the actual jumpers are gonna go in. And of course we have some signs that are pretty much measuring your jump. We have some tripwire hooks, meaning anywhere that you actually land in the sand is going to indicate with the rest on lumps. And on one side we just have some signs with the score. You can see for example we went 11 blocks over here. The max jump I ever did was 15 and I'm pretty sure you can get higher than that. Maybe you can if you cheat just a step over here, but I only got 15 like 5 times in a row since that I was never able to actually get it and I never actually went further so I think this is the max jump. Of course you can end up in pretty much any of these spots if you actually mess up your running. You can see over here at the start we have a couple of the pressure plates that are connected with the rest on leading all the way to our little TNT. The reason I'm using this sword is because I don't want to break any of the blocks. But all we have over here is just some redstone dust leading from the pressure place going all the way over here powering the blocks underneath the TNT and this is where we are going to jump so let's just test it out together. Of course there is a bit of a skill over here involved and one thing that you can do is just run over here then stop. You have to be moving always and you can't actually sprint all the way so there is a bit of a skill involved in how you actually walk. I like to do to start off slowly and then just kind of jump and go to the TNT and you can see we can definitely mess this up. For the sake of my pride let's just say that was done on purpose. To go again you just need to refill the TNT over here and let's start this again hopefully get a better score than 2. Let's just go ahead and focus on jumping a little bit and hopefully this is going to work and yes we actually got to 14. Now sometimes you are going to activate two of the rest on lamps and it's up to you and your friends to decide if you're going to go with the lower number or the number that's higher. You can see we got 14 and guess this is kind of the tactic you want to go with. After you cross the pressure place there is no stopping so you want to make sure you're going to start off slowly and then pick up the pace near the end. Let's just focus and try to get at least like above 5. And we are flying, but I'm pretty sure this is gonna be lower. Yes, we went 11 blocks and last time we went over to 14. So the trick is not to always go as high, but it's kinda to get like in the middle of TNT, which is going to launch you forward and not just go in the air with a really bad arc, which is going to kinda throw you between like 11 and 13. At least that's something that I always noticed. Let us try that one more time before we get into the tutorial. Because this is really fun and can definitely see this be played like hundreds times before you actually get bored of it. Let's just see maybe one, two, three and let's just start the jumping and of course I may stop sprinting. Okay, 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 this is the last time I promise. I told this would be it, we are going to get to 15 but you can see we got 13. So you can see if you actually do your jump correctly you can end up anywhere between 10 and 15. If you mess up you can go from 9 all the way to 1 and maybe even 0 if you are really unlucky that you don't even make to the sand. But this is really simple to make and I'm going to show you how to do it right now. So the blocks we are going to need for this are some block of our choice for the actual track and of course the walls that we are going to use near the sand pit and for the sand pit we are going to need sand. I'm going for the orange terracotta and white concrete to pretty much make this little track over here but of course you can use any blocks that you want. Of course you are going to need some rest of lamps to indicate where you actually end up. We're going to need water to pretty much stop the TNT from blowing everything up. We're going to need two pressure plates. Of course we're going to need the trip fire hooks and we're going to need some string. That way when you land in the sand pit we're going to get the clear number of the blocks you're going to land in. Of course we are going to need some old signs or in any other kind of design which is going to indicate the actual number of blocks traveled or jumped and of course we are going to need some redstone dust and redstone repeaters to pretty much lead the redstone from the pressure plates all the way down to the TNT. So the first thing you want to do is make a little hole that's gonna be 2 blocks wide, 3 blocks deep and 20 blocks long. After you're done that grab yourself 2 pieces of white concrete 
have them at the start and at the end of your little track. After that fill all of the other blocks with the orange terracotta which is going to give you that nice little track that usually you see on like sporting events. So just go ahead and fill everything in just like so. Then over here at the beginning you want to decide which side is actually going to be your beginning and the start. We're just going to go with this one. So this is where we're going to have the actual pressure plates. You can see over here at the end one block after that is where we actually put in the TNT. So you want to destroy these four blocks over here at the end of your little track. Just destroy all of them and have two water sources in each of the corners. You can see the water is going to mint over here. And this is where you're going to have your TNT that's going to launch you forward. After that from this point grab yourself sand and go 15 blocks out. So one, let's just go ahead and count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15, and fill the rest of it in. After you put in your sand pit that's 4 blocks wide and 50 blocks long, what you want to do is just grab yourself a block for choice and put a little wall around the actual sand on either side. This is where the redstone lamps are going to go with the signs up on one side, it's pretty much going to indicate how long you are actually able to jump. So just go ahead and put the rest on lamps all the way across your little wall over here and then we can put in the trip wires. When you finish your actual wall of the block for choice and the rest of lamps, go down over here and grab trip wire hooks and place them on every single block of our choice over here and just go all the way on either side because we're going to have to use some string to actually make this work. So go all the way like this. Grab yourself this string and place them on every single block of the sand you can see over here. You only need to place two of them in the middle and you're going to see that the tripwire hooks are going to activate. And they're going to change the actual position. So just go all the way and place two of the actual string per block over here. And you are pretty much done as far as the rest one goes for this. You can see when we step anywhere the actual tripwire hook is going to activate making sure that this block is going to get powered and because we have the rest of lamps on top of it it's going to activate the rest of lamps depending where we actually end up in. For this you can actually use the signs on both sides but what I like to do is just have them on one side because it's a bit more work to do them on both sides and you don't really need it. When you jump all you have to do is just turn to the side that has the signs and the other side is just kinda there for the decoration. You can pretty much indicate it from 1 to 15. After that it's time to put in a redstone. One optional thing you can do is over here on water sources you can use the lily pads that way you are not gonna step inside of them and you're going to make sure that you're not going to place the TNT right there. You can only place the TNT in these two blocks. We're just going to have it without TNT because we want to connect the redstone. We want to go all the way back to the beginning of our pleasure plates and dig down. Of course you can see if we press the actual pressure plates we are not going to be able to activate the redstone over here so we're going to have two blocks of your choice with the redstone on top of them and that way when we step on the actual pressure plate the redstone is going to activate. After that grab a safety piece of redstone going from this side. Since we know the max switch of the redstone is 15 we can only go 14 blocks from this before we need the actual repeater so we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. This is where we're going to need the redstone repeater going all the way down to our little TNT which is going to be right on top of this block. So we're going to need a 2x2 two two area over here where the redstone is going to go because we want to activate the TNT in the exact same time. We're going to have couple repeaters pointing into those blocks with the rest of us connecting to them from this repeater and we are pretty much done. We can patch any holes and just leave this open for the actual light. We can go outside over here and all you have to do is just patch in any of the holes. You can see if we put in the TNT over here or minigame is pretty much gonna be completed. So go all the way over here and let's just test it out. I just run over here and maybe start running like now, jump and this is going to throw us all the way to this block which of course I didn't indicate because that would just take a bit of time. What you want to do is again just go over here and add your numbers that we're going to have a clear understanding of where people are going to land. You're pretty much done as far as this minigame goes. So if you guys have enjoyed this video make sure to drop a like down below and subscribe if you are new if you think any of your friends would enjoy this type of content make sure to share with them but as always I really hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one peace out.